Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And today is the third of three projects to do with little mini envelopes, cash wallets. And I kind of want to address the fact that, you know, I might have put my three on upside down. I was looking at it going, it looks right, but why does it look wrong? <laughs> it's because I've written it as an E. <laughs> Yes, it was only when I was sorting out the photographs and I was going, why, why is that wrong? Why does it look wrong? It doesn't look wrong, but why does it look wrong? Yeah, let's just put our three the correct way round. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so part one was how to make the envelopes and put a number three or an E on it to put numbers on it for your cash wallets. Part two was to how to make the rather adorable little lidded box that would sit flush if you just wanted to use it as a gift box or it would sit proud if you had the envelopes on and this would comfortably hold well i've put 16 in there all 16 of these in there or 12 if you were going to use them on a monthly basis and then a part three oh let me just pop that off to one side is a longer box now this is still holding the same 16 oh hello sorrel um it's still holding how rude she's just like a her tail in my face um come on off you go thank you so this is holding 16 you could probably hold 20 to 24 comfortably um with cash inside so if you wanted to do um maybe an every other week kind of thing make one of these or if you wanted to do a yearly one i would suggest making two but it, once again it makes a nice gift nice gift box and the same as before it sits proud so that you can see a little bit at the bottom okay same principle as before we're going to be doing a base and a lid at the same time so eight and a quarter inches wide 11 inches long i've designed it for everybody's car stock whether you work in international a4 or american eight and a half by 11 you're going to make one of these you want two of these metric 20 and a half by 27 centimeters for the base part score it at two and a half inches or six centimeters on all four sides And for the lid, the same as Wednesdays, exactly the same piece of cardstock. You're just going to move it out, that hair of a whisper, that tiny little bit. So it's a shade under two and a half inches or shade under six, well, 5.8 centimetres and just do it all the way round. Simple, simple. So if you work, if you have a piece of, you know, if you have longer cardstock, so long as it's that eight and a quarter inches wide or 20 and a half centimeters you can go as long as you want and it will fit those adorable little three by three envelopes okay this is my lid and actually i'm going to put my paper on because these two are the same color and i might forget which is which so let me do prep and do all of this one so cut straight on the rectangle and wedge the square and we're not rotating this time round. We did with the other one because it was a square box. But this one's a rectangle. And like I say, if you don't want to put the little envelopes in it, it's a rather nice sized gift box. What size does it finish? It finishes up at six inches this way, by three and a quarter that way, by two and a half deep. And in metric, it's 15 by eight and a half by six centimeters deep. all of those bits and so we're finished up like that and then I've got all my pieces of paper and again I've stayed with the same pack for the envelopes and for all my boxes and this is the free paper so you know if you're being super frugal free paper um, this one in the middle it's three inches that way by five and three quarters these two are three inches by two and a quarter and these ones are five and three quarters by three inches. Again, in metric, 14 and a half by eight, 14 and a half by five and a half, um, five and a half by eight. I'll make sure everything's written down for you. So let's get all of these on. 
does anybody here do cash stuffing? Oh, let's get that so that the flowers aren't upside down. Um, I'm not on TikTok, um, but I do have Facebook Watch, and they appear on there every now and again. And I think, oh, paper money. Obviously, here in the UK, our smallest paper note is five pounds. Um, and I do love it when I come to America because I get cash and I feel rich because I've got all these one dollar bill bills, is it you call them? One dollar bills. Um, but yeah, it fascinates me. <laughs> okay, but if you are somebody who does traditional cash stuffing, um, with the bigger envelopes, you're going to want to watch. You're going to want to watch Monday's video. Okay, let me just. Ju <clears throat> Close this up and <laughs> rip my paper. And then I can put the lid off to one side and know it's done. But yeah, if you yeah, if you do if you do cash stuffing with ring binders, you're gonna love Monday's video. Oh, that's just popped open. Okay. So that's the lid done, and we'll do the base while I'm here. But do you know what? We won't, because it's exactly the same as this base. And we're going to put that lid on there. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cute? Oh, look at that. Six and a half minutes. Oh, and chatter going on. Um, so once again, if you saw my video on Wednesday where I said that I didn't overly decorate the boxes... Let me bring them in because they're here to one side. I didn't overly decorate them because I want to forget to remember that they're there. So I want them to kind of fade into the background. Um, but also if, I mean, I'm on the, the second floor of our house. We have uh, three floors and I'm the furthest point away from the front door. Even those on the top floor are closer to the front door than me. So there's no chance of some random stranger knocking on my door and spotting that I've got money or cash or anything in the house but you might not have that and you, you know rather than having a big jar that says savings all over it that's on full view of your front door something discreet like this and nobody's going to know what that is so anyway there we go those are Wednesdays and the one's just landed on the floor good job I've taken the picture of that and these are today's and they're fun and like I say you don't have to use the envelopes for cash stuffing you could use them for tips um, you could, oh, these would be good for carol singing times. Oh, you could make a whole host of these. If you get carol singers who come around, ooh, that's just popped into my head. Um, or maybe you have a large number of people that you give cash to for birthdays throughout the year. You could make a little envelope for each person because I have brought, oh, I'm all very generous, a whole five pound note. Um, you know, pop it in there done pop their name on it and it's ready you could do that at the beginning yeah i'm going to take that out because i'll forget otherwise it's there <laughs> put it in the wrong place so anyway i hope you like it i hope you found these useful um you know we all save in different ways and even if it is just saving a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars or whatever it is what a pretty way to do it anyway thank you ever so much for joining me this week hope to speak to you very soon bye